second spot for the first night in the Western West Canada Lake Wilderness. This is where I had my tarp last night. I didn't film any, <coughs> any of the trout coming in. I was in a hurry. Um, probably could have. And there were a couple groups of people on this trail, and I didn't want it to record anybody. I didn't meet anybody. I heard some people by Indian Lake, but that's about it. So I could have recorded. But I was in a hurry, and it was darkish. Late afternoon. All right, well, we're at the Indian River, and we're going to cross. I crossed last night. Got a little wet, but hopefully we'll, we won't get wet this morning. Here's the fireplace, this old campsite. Um, I noticed I collected some beer cans around the camp. I'm taking a couple with me and some other junk. These for other people. Look at all the white clover growing here. It's, I believe an exotic species. It's from somebody's as well. Um, obviously, campers in the past brought this in with their shoes or equipment or whatever. Let's go down to the river. We're going to cross. A little open area that was once a road. This is the way I came in. I know it doesn't look like there's a trail, but if you go through there, you'll find it on an old road. There's an old rusted sign used to say Indian River. Back when this was probably the road. This, this, oops, sorry. This over here is where I crossed. Last night, across to look, uh, see if there was another campsite on the other side, and I didn't see any. Look down here, it looks like part of the, part of the bridge that used to be there. Okay, we're going to try this again and see if I can make it without getting wet again. No guarantee. Looks as if. These rocks are really, really slippery. I'm not sure if the water level's gone up since last night or not. I'm not even sure how I, how I did this. Other than I cut my knees to fall. Very slippery. Extremely slippery. I think I went up the water, up the river a little bit. Before I started crossing here last night. This is where it gets really dicey and it's all wet rocks. Water flowing over them. Did not go in my boot. I might take some pictures here.
There was a cable down there. I went a little ways. I didn't see any. Up river, you can't really see much. There's rocks are blocking it. Get up down here. Take some pictures. Down river. Far you have to go for the cable. I went down a little ways. But... up it was 40. That's one of the reasons for my late start this morning. I was over here last night. Definitely doesn't look as obvious as that. There's a oddity I saw from last night. Vermont license plate. It says 55, but I'm not sure if that's the year. I'll take a picture. Well, the light it seems a little bit more obvious. Where did the road is? Last night in twilight it didn't seem as quite as obvious. Originally, I was just going right to Horn Lake. Only like three and a half miles on other roads. But that's all I got to do. I'm thinking about going balsam and or stink lakes. So definitely, stink is a little bit far now. Another mile and a half down the old road.
must have generally hit. I think there is an old road that goes that way. I've seen a single marker yet. my trail. Sometimes this GPS can be a pain. It's way up here. Oh, my God. 
Vai. I'm not going to ball so much, I have to push back. Selfish. Oh, so Where they going?
got in here? We got some pads, sleeping bag, tons of toilet paper, duct tape. Looks like an old stove. Tools. Got a picnic table. Chicken coop. Whatever that is. I don't really know what the path is. It's not the right trail. Okay, I'm going to stop it here. Evaluate for how we're going to do now.